definitely would have to be number one. Second, mung beans which we sprout ourselves. Nefertiti's favourite used to be tomatoes when she was little and these guys love mm. tomatoes also. Mm. Yes! And there's no going past the peanuts and the sultanas. They love those so much. Kidney beans are a definite favourite of both of theirs. They love digging them out of the sauces. And we've got some satan. Yeah, King James Sewer. He's eating King some. Mummy. Num. Num. I don't know if you can hear them on the film crunching away. They like their chickpeas. Mm -hmm. We've got chickpeas in a curry sauce. We use a lot of spices in our house. No MSG, but a lot of spices. And there's something very important. If you're a vegan family and you've got children that have been brought up vegan, this would be one of my number one most important foods that you have to feed your child. And that would be ground flax seed. If you don't grind it, it'll just go through the body and you won't get the nutrients. We have ground flax seed in every single meal. We have it in breakfast time. We have it on our porridge or on our fruit or on our sandwiches. If we have porridge, we'll put bananas and we'll put flax seed on the top. At lunch, we put over salad or whatever we are having we always use flaxseed look that up guys it's one of the reasons that vegans don't live long is because they don't have flaxseed so look into that guys but our family has been having flaxseed for years and we will continue to have flaxseed these guys get it three times a day or more so check it out ground flaxseed Look at them hoeing into their food. They absolutely love it. Look, King James, you've nearly ate all of yours. But the Brussels sprouts is the one thing that we have had fights over. We've had people stealing Brussels sprouts 
what children usually don't like our children love brussels sprouts and i think i'm gonna get lots no, of comments on like people saying that their children love brussels sprouts too but that would be the one vegetable that you would have to get organic because it's sprayed so often we have got homemade seitan. Romeo helped cook this meal. We like to teach our children how to cook so that when they move out, they know how to make healthy food and to not buy processed stuff from the shop unless they're very, very desperate to get a meal fast. Otherwise, we have taught them to make everything from scratch, including sauces. We buy tomatoes and make our own sauces, put jalapenos, raw garlic. They are also having rice with quinoa. It's a mixture. Oh! Oh, I squashed your finger! Remember, she's the tough one. She doesn't mind. She just got her finger crushed and she didn't care. Oh, see, they're going for the raw stuff more. Mama, what's going wrong? Yeah. Yep, wipe the curry on your clothes. And also, you may see in my Instagram Dada. stories, yeah, that we don't often put clothes on anyone that is little. Because of the curry, we try to save as many shirts as we can. Shakespeare said the other day, Mum, I'm in a big person's group. And we looked at him wondering why is he saying that and he was wearing a white shirt while he was having some food with curry in it and everyone laughed so little children don't wear t-shirts while they're eating we thought we'd put some on them now sometimes they do good girl num num she loves chickpeas they like all the food we give them the only thing that Aphrodite does not like is when we don't have fresh carrots and cook them. She does not like carrots that come out of freezer bags and are warmed. She doesn't know where we've got them from, but she will notice. So when we cut our own carrots up and we boil them and give them to her, she loves them. Frozen ones, no. Mmm, yummy. So there's a flax seed. Yeah. Do you want me to eat also? Yeah. Okay, I'll sit down and eat. And there's seitan there, if I didn't say that. We make our own seitan every single day. If we don't have seitan in the day. It's a miracle. But usually, in the morning, Paul puts on some beans this morning Romeo put on some beans it depends who puts them on what morning and different people make the seitan and by lunchtime it's ready yeah look at her going down that Brussels sprouts oh not Brussels sprouts broccoli oh yes Use the white shirt as a napkin. <laughs> Yay! Papa. Okay. Good boy. We've never had a problem with any of our children eating. We did have one problem once where we had to tell the doctor that all that Nefertiti, who is just turned okay. four now, okay. all she would eat is raw cucumber and tomato and the doctor said if that's your only problem don't worry about it because other people can't Papa. even get their children to eat the Papa. tomato and the cucumber but she very fast started eating, eating everything else so all our children love everything yeah. Paul are there any of those mushrooms in this meal that we picked now don't be surprised with the type of water jars they're going to be given we have marble floors here and we have so many cups smash on the ground that we have decided um, very many years ago to start using glass jars that are left over from whatever we buy so if we buy olives or got something else you might buy pickled but anyway we keep the jar 
and if it smashes, we've lost no money. Also, it's good for so many reasons to keep using what you have. We like to keep things really minimalistic. And we give our children only water during mealtime. If we have made berry juices, which we have added no sugar whatsoever to, they may have that. And they're berries that we've picked from our own backyard. Did you? Ah! Don't fall off the chair. Oh! Oh, how sweet. So here's some of the mushrooms. I got someone to pick mushrooms for us. We often pick our own and we did this year, we picked heaps. But then we got really busy, so we paid someone else to go and pick some for us. These are called cantarellis. Mm -hmm.